This is our first question. Simplify 25 by 8 into 2 by 5 minus 3 by 5 into negative 10 by 9. See, here we, we have a 25 and here we have a 5, so we can cancel them, right? We can divide 25 by 5, so here we have a 5 now. Then 2 and 8, again we can cancel them, right? 8 divided by 2, we have a 4. See, we have written that 4 near 8 because 8 is bigger than 2. We are dividing 8 by 2. That is why 4 is now in the denominator. Similarly here, 3 and 9. See, we can cut, right? 3 and 9. When cancel, here we have a 3 because 3 into 3 is 9. 10 and 5. See, we can cut. Okay, 10 divided by 5. Now, what is left? We can write it down. Here we have a 5 in the numerator part. So it is 5 by 4. Then, see, here we have a negative sign. Here also we have a negative sign. Two negative signs coming together means it is plus, right? Okay, now, here we have a 2 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator. So it is 2 by 3. Now, in the previous videos, we have done cross multiplication. Now, let us take LCM. That is another way of doing this. LCM of the denominators. Here, 4 and 3 are the denominators, right? 4 and 3. We know there is no common factors between 4 and 3. So, the LCM is just the product of 4 and 3. That is 12. And next step, we have to make the denominators as 12. The first fraction is 5 by 4. We need 12 as the denominator. 4 will become 12 when we multiply by 3. So the numerator will also get multiplied by 3. That is because 15. 15 by 12. So it is 15 by 12. Equivalent, equivalent fraction we have written. Next, 2 by 3. 2 by 3. We need 12 as the denominator. 3 will become 12 when we multiply by 4. So the same thing we have to do with 2 in the numerator part. 2 into 4, 8. So it is 8 by 12. See, now the denominators are same. So we can add directly the numerator parts. So it is 15 by, sorry, 15 plus 8 all divided by 12. 15 plus 8 is 23, so it is 23 by 12. This is our next question. See here, as in the previous one, we have two terms. Here we have the first term, 13 and 26. We can cancel them because 13 into 2 will get us 26. So 2 is in the denominator now. Here, 4 and 6, we can divide by 2. So here it is 2 and here it will become 3. Now, what is left here? Only 11 is left in the numerator part. So 11 divided by 7 into 2. 7 into 2. Here also negative and negative coming together. So it is plus. Then 2 into 5 in the numerator part. Denominator 3 into 3. So it is 11 by 14, 7 into 2, 14, plus 2 into 5, 10 by 3 into 3, 9. Now, here we have 14 and 9. Let us follow the LCM method to make the denominator same. LCM of 14 and 9. Here also we don't have any common factors, so just multiply 14 by 9. So it is 126. 126 is the LCM of 14 and 9. Now we have to make the denominators as this 126. 14 into 9 is 126. So 11 into 9 we have to do here. So it is 99 by 126. Similarly, 10 by 9. We need the denominator as 126. We know 
9 into 14 is 126. See here, 9 into 14 is 126. So here in the numerator part also we have to do multiply by 14. So it is 140 by 126. So we can write it as 140 by 126. Now the denominators are same, so we can add. Now the denominators are same, we can add the numerators together. 99 plus 140 divided by 126. 9 plus 0, 9. 9 plus 4, 13. 1 is there as uh, carrier 1 plus 1, 2. 239 by 126 is the answer. This is our third question. Here we have to simplify 3 by 3 into 1 by 6 plus 5 by 3 into 7 by 2 minus 13 by 8 into 4 by 3. Here 3 and 6 are there. No, here we have a multiplication, so we can cut 3 and 6. Cut. So here we have a 2 in the denominator part. Here, check the numerators and denominators. We cannot cancel anything because there is any uh, no common factors among them. Now, here, 4 and 8, we can cancel them, right? Here, we will get a 2. Okay. Now, here, what is left? Nothing is left, right? That means 1 is there in the numerator part and 2 into 2, 4 in the denominator plus 5 into 7, 35 by 3 into 2, 6 minus 13. Only 13 is there left as the numerator part and 2 into 3, 6 as the denominator. See here, for these two numbers, we have 6 as the denominator. That means we can solve them first. So we get it as 1 by 4 plus. Here the denominators are same, so we can do or we can combine the numerators together. 13, 35 minus 13, all divided by 6. Okay. Now, 35 minus 13. 35 minus 13, here we have a 2. And here also we have a 2. 22 by 6. Again, 22 and 6. We can cancel, right? We can cancel them by 2. So, we will get here 11. And here 3. So it is 1 by 4 plus 11 by 3. Now the denominators are different. Let us take the LCM method. LCM of 4 and 3 is 12. We need the denominator as 12. 1 by 4 with denominator 12 means we have to multiply by 3. Here also multiplication by 3 means it is 3 by 12. Then 11 by 3. We need the denominator as 12. 3 will become 12. Then we multiply by 4. So 11 is also getting multiplied by 4 to get 44. So it is 44 by 12. Now see the denominators are same. We can add the numerators together. 3 plus 44 all divided by 12. That is 47 by 12. This is the last question of this video. Here we have to solve 3 by 11 into 5 by 6 minus 9 by 12 into 4 by 3 plus 5 by 13 into 6 by 15. Okay. Actually, we can cancel the numerators and denominators with common factors if they are combined by through multiplication. See, here we have a 3 and here we have a 6 means we can cancel them. Okay, 6 divided by 3, 2. 6 is bigger and which was in the denominator, so 2 should be in the denominator part. Here, 4 and 12. We can cancel them like 4 into 3 is 12, right? So, 3 comes here 12. And 9 and 3 we can cancel here. 3 comes in the numerator part. Okay. See, here we can cancel 5 and 15. 3. 3 comes here. 15. Now what is left? Here we have a 5, only 5 in the numerator part. So this is 5 divided by 
11 into 2, 22 minus, see here, 3 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator, 3 by 3 plus, here only 6 is there in the numerator part and 13 into 3, 39 in the denominator part. Now, 3 by 3 is actually 1, right? So, it is same as 5 by 22 minus 1 plus 6 by 39. And again, 6 by 39, okay, see, 6 and 39 both are divisible by 3. Here itself we could cancel, no, I missed it. See, here itself we could cancel them, okay. We missed it. Anyways, we can cancel them here, like, see. 6 divided by 3 is 2 and 13 divided by 3 is 13. So it is 2 by 13. If we cancel them here itself, we will get the same thing. See, here it is 2 and this 3 is gone. So 2 by 13. Here also 2 by 13. Okay. Now, in the next step, we have a 1 over here. No, we can keep it aside. First, let us do with fractions. See 5 by 22 plus 2 by 13 minus 1 like this. Now the denominators are 22 and 13. We have to find out the LCM. LCM of 22 and 13. See both of them are number co-prime. I mean they don't have any common factors among them. So it is 13 into 22 itself is the LCM. So it is 286 as the LCM. Now, 5 by 22, we need 286 as the LCM. We know 22 into 13 is what is 286. So here we have to multiply by 13. Here also we have to multiply by 13. 5 to 13, that is 65. So it is 65 by 286 plus. Next, we have to convert 2 by 13. 2 by 13, we need 286 as the denominator part. 13 into 22. So we have to multiply the numerator also by 22. Okay, 2 into 22, 44 here. So we can write it as. 5 by 22 was 65 by 286 plus 2 by 13 was 44 by 286. Now 1 is there, no? 1 is same as 286 by 286. Now the denominators are same, so we can combine the numerators. 65 plus 44 minus 286 all divided by 286. Now, 65 plus 44, we have 109. So it is 109 minus 286 divided by 286. See here, we are subtracting a bigger number from a smaller number, right? So in such situations, if this minus is getting complicated, just convert it as plus minus. Because a plus and minus together is same as a negative sign, right? See, initially it was like this. If we put it as plus minus, same, same effect, no? Now we are adding a positive number with a negative number. So we have to subtract the smaller from bigger. 286 is bigger and 109 is smaller. We have to subtract. And the bigger one is negative, so the answer should be negative. So we let us uh, subtract. So we will get it as. 177. So negative 177 by 286 comes as the answer. Hope all of you understood. Thank you.